Mom, I know you're studying for your big final, but can I ask you one quick question? Sure, Ev. How do you know when you're really in love? <laughs> well, I mean, there's this guy, Eric, and he is really cute, and I really like him. But the thing is, is he doesn't even know I'm alive. Should I wait until he notices me or go up and talk to him or what? Oh, uh, honey, do you think we could talk about this tomorrow, maybe? Okay, okay, I can wait. I'm the middle child, I'm used to it. <laughs> You're getting better with those. Thanks. You know, my band teacher says if I keep it up, he might even let me get a drum. Yeah. If I keep this up, I might even pass my exam. Oh, God, I forgot you're cramming for your finals. They're tomorrow, huh? So I guess you must be getting a little nervous. No, why should I? I mean, the last final I took was what, 17 years ago? Really? I didn't know they had them back then. <laughs> Mom, just look at my costume for the hygiene pack. You look like a perfectly fine tooth to me. I'm supposed to be a bicuspid, but I think I look more like a molar. Does this belong to anyone? Yeah, it's mine. Well, it doesn't belong on the stairs, and you don't belong in here. Your mother's trying to study. All right, all right, we're going. Don't study too hard. What about me? Go floss yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Owens, and I apologize about the children. I assure you there'll be no further interruptions. Thank you, Mr. Belvedere. After I finish making my popcorn. <laughs> Streets on the China never mattered before. Who cares? When you drop kicked your jacket as you came through the door, no one glared. But sometimes things get turned around and no one's spared. All hands look out below. There's a change in the status quo. Gonna need all the help that we can get. According to our new arrival, life is more than mere survival. We just might live the good life yet. My God, you haven't moved. Uh, a contract may be rejected by stated refusal, by implication via counteroffer, or by acceptance on a conditional basis. Would you like some eggs? No, thanks. <laughs> that was a stated refusal. Now, if I'd asked for a waffle instead, that would have been rejection via a counteroffer. I see. Yeah, but if I'd accepted the waffle only if we had blueberry syrup, that would have been acceptance on a conditional basis. I'd offer you a Pop-Tart, but I'm afraid you might sue me. Our <laughs> husband's allowed? Morning, honey. You never came to bed last night. I missed you. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I know you got to study. It's just... I don't like sleeping alone. It's spooky. Perhaps we can get you a nightlight. Or a cabbage patch doll. Oh, my God. Look at the time. I gotta go. <laughs> Do I look all right? Go anyway. <laughs> well, this is it. Wish me luck. Good luck, Mrs. Owens. Knock him dead, Marsh. I'll try. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> you can borrow mine. <laughs> Morning, kitten. Hi, Dad. What's the matter? Nothing. If you looked any droopier, you'd trip on your lower lip. It's just nobody ever has time to listen to my problems. Oh. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Come on, Dad, this is serious. I'm sorry. Come on, tell your old man what's bugging you. You won't understand. You're just a dad. <laughs> sure, I will. Come on. Well, you see, there's this guy, Eric, and I really like him. He's really cute. Thing is, is I just don't know what to say to him. I'm just telling him if he touches you, your old man's going to kill him. Dad, I hardly even know him. Good. Keep it that way. Thanks, Dad. Anytime, kitten. 
Let me out of this thing. Wesley, what are you doing home? I thought you had a rehearsal for your dental extravaganza. I got extracted. <laughs> what happened? Did you bite someone? <laughs> oh, I punched Howie Huffnagel in the nose. He was playing an impacted wisdom tooth, and he kept trying to crowd me out. Mm. Yes, as a rule, wisdom teeth are rather pushy. Well, anyway, you know I'm out of my pageant for good. I am sorry, Wesley. Well, that's okay. At least now I don't have to brush my teeth anymore. <laughs> Always a bright side, isn't there? I can't do it. You've never had that problem with the phone before. Look, Mr. Belvedere, I got his number. Whose number? Eric's. I stole it out of the attendant's office. Now that I got it, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I think if you stole it, you should take it back. <laughs> I mean, that's always what Mr. Belvedere makes me do. Heather, as long as you've got it, you might as well use it. Well, what's he going to think? I mean, a girl he hardly even knows calls him from out of nowhere. He's probably going to think I'm real desperate. Or easy. Heather, there's absolutely nothing easy about you. Thanks. Ah, Mrs. Owens, how did we do on our test? I don't think she did so good. Hey, Mom, are you okay? If anyone cares, I'll be upstairs. Hey, Mom, you made a poem. If anyone cares, I'll be upstairs. If anyone cares, I'll... Boy, she seems pretty upset. Yeah, I think I should go have a talk with her. Wesley, I don't want either of you children disturbing your mother. That's my job. Who is it? Mr. Belvedere. Everything all right? Yes, everything's fine. Thank you. May I come in? No. no I'm, I'm not dressed. Neither am I. <laughs> Come on in, Mr. Belvedere. I lied. And I appreciate that. I was just wondering if I could get you anything. Tea, coffee, a little guidance counseling. I was ready. I had everything down cold. I knew every case, every argument, every precedent. It's just that when I sat down and they handed me that exam, I just went blank. Better the classroom than the courtroom. If I ever get there. And right now, that's a big if. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just kidding myself. Trying to change gears in the middle of my life. No, look. Perhaps things are not as bad as you think. You haven't got your grade yet. Believe me, a woman knows when she's failed a test. Oh, that's right. You've had three children. <laughs> hey, Heather. Phone. Who is it? It's Eric. I didn't even know I had my number. Hello, Eric? This is Heather. What do you mean, what do I want? You called me. <laughs> I told him you wanted his body. <laughs> Sorry, can't talk now. Bye. Wesley, I'm gonna kill you, I swear! I simply think you'll be enough. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? My life is ruined. I got kicked out of my pageant. Great, where's your mom? She's up in your bedroom with Mr. Belvedere, and they don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> Not my day, is it? Oh, Mr. Owens, I'm glad you're home. Me too. Mrs. Owens had rather a tough time with her exam. She's feeling very low. Oh, yeah? Well, come on, guys, let's go up and jolly up old mom. Hey, look what I got. Did anyone order a firing squad? Probably for me. Hey, honey. Looks like somebody forgot to bring an apple for the teacher. I guess so. Hey, it's just one silly test. Yeah, Mom. We could write the teacher a note saying you did lousy because you didn't have a good breakfast. And could you please take it over again? <laughs> it's no big deal, honey. I did my best. I just wasn't good enough. That's stupid. Well, anyway, it's mostly our fault you did bad. Yeah, because we're always bothering you when you're trying to study. Like me with my stupid costume. <laughs> or my stupid boyfriend problems. Or your silly drum. You can have these back when you're 21. Kids, you're supposed to bother me. I'm your mother. It's just that mm, ever since I started law school, I haven't exactly been acting like one. Well, that's okay. You've been busy. 
Anyway, we got Mr. Belvedere to bother. Yeah. <laughs> well, from now on, things are going to be different. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a part-time student and a part-time mother and not being particularly good at any of it. It's got to be one or the other. Are you leaving us? <laughs> no. I'm quitting school. Hey, come on, Marcia, don't start no, talking look, about No, look, I've quitting. given this a lot of thought, and I think it's time I went back to doing what I do best. So if you'll excuse me, your mother has a dinner to prepare. Well, everyone go wash up. Does that include me? <laughs> Any luck? She doesn't want to talk about it. All she keeps saying is she's going to make us the best dinner we ever had. Better than mine? She's not just upset, she's delirious. Where do I keep the egg beater? Top middle drawer. And the eggs? In the chickens. <laughs> I wish there was something I could do. You could pack. Perhaps I should. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, she's just a little tired. All she needs is one good night's sleep, and she'll be back to her old scholastic self. <laughs> Dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. Oh, great. Oh, honey. Look, I know I've been neglecting you lately, but I just want you to know that I'm going to be making it all up to you starting tonight. <laughs> So much for our good night's sleep. Good morning, Mr. Belvedere. Good morning, Mrs. Owens. And how are we feeling this morning? Like the weight of the world has been lifted from my shoulders. Oh. Muffin? Yes, that would be my first guess, too. <laughs> you know, I've forgotten how gratifying baking can be. I mean, you put together flour and sugar and milk and presto, muffins. You don't have to convince anybody they're muffins. Nobody calls on you to explain your muffins. They're just muffins. Yes, I used to feel that way about donuts. <laughs> well, since you've done all this, I'll make the coffee. Already brewing. Then I'll make some juice. Already squeezed. Bacon? In the warmer. Fine. Just let me call Goodwill and I'll have myself picked up. <laughs> Morning, Westman. Morning, Dad. Hey, Belvedere, what smells so good? It's your wife. She's found fulfillment making muffins. Really? She hasn't made those in years. Breakfast time! Breakfast, everyone! <laughs> Morning, Tiger. I can't believe it! He wants to take me out this Friday. Who does? Eric! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna wear? Well, we'll go out to the mall this afternoon and pick out something nice for you. You mean it? Hey, Mom, can I come, too? I want to stop at the pet shop and take a look at the lizard. <laughs> sure, honey. Now, come on, everyone. Into the kitchen. Breakfast is ready. You don't want those blueberry muffins to get cold. Oh, boy. Mmm, something sure smells good. If anybody needs me, I'll be in my room. Now, that's what I call a shine. <laughs> hey, honey. Whoa. How was work? Oh, it was okay. So what are you even doing all day? Waiting for you. What would you say if I told you I had a headache? I'd say I knew how to cure it. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making some treats for when your little friend comes over. Mom, Eric and I are going to the movies. We're not going to have time for all of this. There's always time for good manners. Besides, your father and I want to meet him. Fine. Anyway, you never send a fellow away hungry. That's how we gals keep our men. Sure, Mom. Be right back. <laughs> oh, you're both wearing the shirts I made you. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Mom. <laughs> well, I think Mom has finally flipped. Hello, children. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Belvedere. Hey, Mr. Belvedere, where have you been? Feeding squirrels. 
It's the one thing around here your mother hasn't already taken care of. Yeah, it seems like all she wants to do lately is cook and clean and make things. Suddenly she's taking an interest in everything we do. Yeah, and with some of the stuff I do, I don't need the attention. The thing is, Mom acts like she's happy doing all this stuff. But I don't think she is. Maybe you're right. The question is, what are you going to do about it? We don't know. Yeah, thinking of good stuff like that is your job. At the moment, I don't seem to have a job. Need any help? Oh, um, no. I was uh, just dusting, you know, before the company comes. Isn't that one of your law techs? Yes, you know, these things are so big, I might just get rid of them. Oh, I don't know. I always felt they gave the house a certain warmth. Besides, they might come in handy. You never know when you might get slapped with a lawsuit. I mean, especially with a son like Wesley. <laughs> Let me see. Now, if... Oh, 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 look what you're doing! <laughs> Not here yet, huh, kitten? No, but he's gonna be here soon, so could you please turn that off? <laughs> please? All right. Now, could you go someplace? What's the matter, Heather? You ashamed of us? <laughs> hey, okay, okay, knock it off, you stooges. <laughs> Come on, kitten. Your old man's gotta at least meet the guy who's taking out his little girl. Sure, Dad. <laughs> And so do I, because I'm the one that brought you two together. Uh-oh, Betty Crocker alert. <laughs> Sam! Somebody get the door. You're standing right there. I can't answer it. I'll look too anxious. Hi. Hello. You must be Eric. Is Heather ready? Heather, your date's here. Hi, Eric. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's okay. <laughs> Anyway, we better get to the movies. There's probably going to be a line. Oh, right. I'll give my jacket. Heather, I don't believe Eric's been properly introduced to everyone. All oh, right, That's my mom. Hello again. <laughs> and that's my dad. And that's my brother, Kevin. My little brother, Wesley. This is Eric. Hi, Eric. You guys in a group? <laughs> Eric, why don't you have a seat? Hmm? I made some little treats if you'd like to have one. Here, help yourself. Thank you. Hmm. These are really good. Thank you. Uh, my mom never has time to make stuff like this. She's an architect. How nice for her. <laughs> yeah, she even built our house. Well, our mom cleans our house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there were people here. Are these for anybody? Uh, Mr. Belvedere, would you like to meet Eric? Well, I've got nothing else to do. Hello, Eric. I'm Mr. Belvedere. Pleasure to meet you. You're the housekeeper, right? I don't know what I am. <laughs> Somebody want to get that? <laughs> yeah. Are you Marsha Owens? No. <laughs> Can I help you? Are you Marsha Owens? You've now been served with official notice of impending legal action. Please, no tip. <laughs> What's this all about? I'm being sued. By who? By me. Whereas... Etc., etc. Plaintiff claims denial of livelihood, interference with contracted duties, alienation of affection, and mental anguish. Very funny, Mr. Belvedere. Oh, I'm not joking, Mrs. Owens. I have a binding oral agreement to perform certain household services, and you are preventing me from doing them. That's ridiculous. So go tell that to the judge. <laughs> Look, even if you were serious about this suit, which I know you're not, it wouldn't stand a chance in court. Mm -hmm. Why not? Well, first of all, Although our contract was conditional on your performance of specific duties, it did not create a right to perform them, simply an obligation. Is that so? Yes, and secondly, whatever contract we did have was solely contingent on my attendance at law school. Objection. <laughs> it was contingent upon your completion of law school. Come on, Marcia, you're not happy doing all this. Yes, I am. I'm very happy. I'm fulfilled. I love taking care of my family. Eric, please, have another crab puff. Put that tray down. That is my job. Mr. Belvedere. You touch that, you're in big, big trouble. <laughs> now look what you've done. And I just shampooed the rug. Having fun, Eric? <laughs> you know, Eric, 
This reminds me of a little brouhaha between the pirates and the fills. Huh? Speaking of which, if you try to hit a home run with my daughter, I'm going to put you on a disabled list. <laughs> Mom, uh, can, can we have a word with you for a moment, please? Yeah, in a second. I just don't want these stains to set. Mom, this is important. Yes, well, so is this. Mom, forget it. You're fired. What? The three of us talked it over. We examined all the facts. And we're sorry, but we're just going to have to let you go. You mean you're firing your own mother? Yeah. It's for your own good. Come on, Mom. You really happy staying home all day making muffins? What else am I good for? Nothing. So you might as well go back to law school. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I just can't hack it. I don't know. You hacked me up pretty well. That's true. Look, it was nice having you around for a while, but the fun's over. You're going back to school. And you're going to hit those books. And you're going to be what you always wanted to be. One hell of a lawyer. And I don't want any discussion, any excuses. This is it. I'm putting my foot down. I believe you put it down on the melon bowl. Oh. <laughs> George, George, no, don't do that. You're just making more work for Mr. Belvedere. Does that mean you're going to be a lawyer again? I'm going to try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm glad we could settle out of court. <laughs> Come on, everybody, into the kitchen. Last chance for Mom's famous muffins. <laughs> well, come on, Eric. You're going to miss all the fun. You mean there's more? <laughs> At any rate, the Owens family is finally back to what they consider normal. Marsh is back to studying. The children are back to not. George is back to sleeping alone. And I'm back to running practically everything. How can something so wrong feel so right? 